Hello, I'm Craig Birch here at the Barclay Card Arena in Birmingham after the Matchroom Boxing press conference ahead of their big bill here on May the 13th live on Sky Sports. I have here the main man, the main event, the history maker, reigning world champion, Cal Yafai. Cal, top of the bill, homecoming. I mean, you must have thought it couldn't get much better after winning the title in Manchester, but I think it's going to come May the 13th, isn't it? So. Yeah, it's going to get even better. Um, defending my world title in front of my home crowd, um, you know. Stuff uh, dreams are made of, really. Of and, course. And then um, get a good win. Of course. Um, do a real good job and then move on to the next one. Yeah, of course. Is it hard to describe how great the night was in Manchester for yourself in winning that world title and so on? Again, such a great. Lewis Conception as well. Could have lost that fight. He's a great, great champion, isn't he? But, you know, he came in, WBA title on the line, took it from him and so on. Really had to produce. And did you feel like you showed the world? what you really made of on that particular evening because you know that's where men men are broken sometimes aren't they at that stage so yeah um i don't think i showed what i'm made of i think i just showed what i'm what i'm capable of doing um i've done enough i've done what i needed to do to win the fight um i just i just outboxed him really i shot him down outboxed him um and showed him you know that i'm that I'm levels above him even though he's a two-way world champion um a very very big puncher coming he weighed in didn't make weight. He come in near enough the weight division above, and um, you know I think I showed everyone what I'm capable of doing by doing what I did to him. Okay, okay. Your first defence is going to be against uh, Japanese fellow Suguru Muranaka. I probably pronounced that wrong, but never mind. So, <laughs> but um, he's a guy. You know, I don't think he's boxed above national title level in Japan, but he hasn't been beaten God knows how long. And he's a. Uh, what, what are you expecting from this first title defence? Um, from your opponent. Probably. I'm expecting it to be tough. Um, you know, he's a tough fighter. Come forward, aggressive fighter. You know, put some puts his punches together well. Um, he hasn't lost in over ten years. His two losses are on a split in the majority decision. Um, so yeah, you know, it's an opponent that I've got to be on my game. I've got to make sure that I'm prepared well. And um, no doubt on May 30th, I'll be victorious and I'll show I'll put on a very good performance. Okay, we talk about the life on dream of becoming a world champion, the homecoming here to Birmingham and the top of the bill. I mean, for a start, I mean, it's great to see the little men again topping the bill, isn't it? You know, super flyweights, you know, people to and fro with it, don't know, but now, yeah. you, know, th you know, this is the gr some of the grandest stages where the super flyweight fights are happening. You must be delighted about that as a, you know, a top name in that division. Yeah, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm glad to be in the division where it's, it's described as probably the most stacked division uh, out of them all. Um, but it's great to, you know, to bring, bring the attention back to, to the little men. Um, you know, they don't normally get the attention that's needed, but that's the, that's, that's the kind of thing I'm looking to do. You know, Roman Gonzalez, power, power, number one fight in the world. He's doing his thing that way, getting the attention at the at the super flyweight di division, and I want to do it over here in the UK by bringing world championship boxing back to Birmingham. Um, and you know, I think I think for the little for the little men, you have to be you have to be very very good to um, to headline shows and, and things like that. And you know, I describe myself as, as very good. So yeah, yeah. It's also worth mentioning you're one of the biggest hitters in that division. Certainly proved that domestically, and as we go forward, probably on the world stage as well. I mean, if you can get the opportunity to get this world world title challenge, you're not going to hang around. He's going to be gone, and we're all going home early, pretty much. Come fight night, I imagine, in the main event, wouldn't we? So. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm expecting a tough 12 rounds. That's what I prepare for. Um, if it comes early, brilliant. If I hurt somebody, I will I will do what I will do what I do, and I will take them out take them out of there in style. Um, but if I have to go twelve rounds, so be it. As long as I win, that's all that matters, and as long as I'm learning on the job, that's all that matters. Of course, and obviously, if this job, like you say, is successful, first wild title defence out of the way, we talk about Gonzalez, the WBC champion. Is he in your immediate sights, or do you build up to that with further defences, or maybe go after I don't know Nea Renui, I believe he's a WBO champion. Yeah. Will you go to the WBO and then to the big fight with Gonzalez, or is it just is that down to Eddie? <laughs> it's, well, it's down to my it's down to my uh, my team and Eddie um, to decide what's best for me. Um, but that's the name that I'm. Um, that's you know I take one fight at a time, but at the, at the end of the tunnel I see I see Roman Gonzalez there, so that's the man I want. Um, and I'll, I'll be having a close watch of, on this fight on on Saturday night. In yeah. In action at the Madison Square Garden. So I'll be um, I'll be having um, no, he's at the bar. Yeah, he's at the Barclays Centre, I think. Um, but either way, I'll be having um, a close eye on this fight. Now, how do you watch that? Because you're gonna have to get up for a run on the Sunday. Do you uh, watch it and then go for a run? That's or? A Sunday. Sunday's rest day. All oh, right. Okay. Sunday's a rest day. Well, you spend um, off in bed if you've been up all night watching that, wouldn't you? So. No, no. What, what I do is I set my alarm. 
So I go to bed early on a Saturday night. Oh, all right, and okay. I set my alarm for about half three. Okay. Well, I suppose if you sleep through it on, you could always YouTube it the next morning, can't you? Yeah, so. you could do, but I like to watch them parts live. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. And obviously, you're going to be studying Gonzalez. You might imagine you know all his body of work already. Yeah. Do you believe you can beat him? This guy is the man, isn't he? He's the pound for pound king so far. So. 100%. If, if, if I didn't believe I could beat him, I'd never fight him. And, yeah. Um, and I'm sure, I'm sure that fight can happen. I'm sure it can. Yeah, yeah. What, do you, what attributes do you feel you have that beats Gonzalez if you, know, you two ever do touch gloves? Um, I have size, height, strength, uh, power, um, and my jab. Yeah. So my ultimate. Jab, my jab is key. Yeah. I don't believe jab is jab is god in boxing, mm. um, and I believe that that would be that would be a big um, big thing in that fight when it happens. Everything off the jab, and you're going to be too big for him, I guess, isn't That's it? it? Yeah. So one last question. It's been talked about in Birmingham fight circles for a while. You know, Dave Frog and Say Gonzalez turns out to be a bit further down the line than we'd all hope. Don Broadhurst has made noise about, I know he's, I mean, wh where do we stand on that? I mean, Don's got to get himself back into old target attention, maybe talk about being one of your challenges. Is, is that possible or is that just paper talk or? I'm not sure. Um, it's, 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 it's no talk from um, on my behalf, you know. Everybody, everybody knows what I'm about. Um, I know Don Broadhurst well, um, you know, he's a nice, nice, nice guy, I've known him a long time. Um, but I just think there's, there's, there's levels to this game. Yeah, and um, obviously I've got my sights on unifying the division, and you know, being in massive fights for massive money. So um, it's just one of them that I haven't really thought of that point. But yeah. if it ever did come down the line, you know, it's up to my promoter. Um, why not? Yeah, it's a big, yeah. big Birmingham derby. Um, there's money to be made, why not? Do you feel there's money in that fight inside? I mean, Don had such a great amateur pedigree. It looked like he was going to go on. You know, he's going to be a real great pro, things have happened and so on, he's had to sort of rebuild and so on. Do you feel there's money in that fight? I guess the only way there's big, big money in that fight is if it's in Birmingham, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Under, well, obviously, if that fight ever did come along, it would be in Birmingham, 100%. Um, and it's just, it's just about figures, I think that's what, that's, that's what it's about. The money ain't big enough, no way is that fight happening. But okay. the money, the money, the money makes sense, and why not? Okay, okay. One last question for you. Your prediction of your contest on fight nights. When and how do you beat this fella? I knock him out midway in the fight. Excellent, fantastic. That's a good answer. Very confident answer. Thanks for your time, Cal. We'll see you soon.